This is the future mouth of the Don River, where it will meet Lake Ontario in what is currently the Polson Slip. Canoe Cove, on the left, was designed to help people connect to the water. It will have a pebble beach and small islands that you could paddle around. Wildlife is already keen to move in. In the past year, we have spotted a mink, heron, bald eagle, and a beaver. Construction on Promontory Park is underway. We're building the foundations of the high stone walls that will be in the future park. The west side of the park will feature a water's edge promenade similar to the walkway we've built elsewhere along the waterfront. This area, known as Promontory Park North, features two habitat coves. One is protected by a carp gate that prevents the invasive fish from entering the cove. The new alignment of Cherry Street will mean better connections for future transit, and space has been set aside for a future dedicated transit right-of-way. This is where the Don River will connect to the new River Valley system we're building. Billiers Street will end in a cul-de-sac and Commissioner Street will become the main way to travel east and west through the Portlands. As part of our plans for flood protection, we need to widen and deepen the river north of Lakeshore Boulevard. This will cause sediment to fall out of the river at that location and the sediment and debris management area will allow us to maintain the depth of the river. We're rebuilding the Lakeshore Bridge to span the wider river. Here you can see the completed substructure of the east abutment and three of the piers from the south side of the bridge. The island in the Don Greenway has been mostly planted, and you can see log and boulder features that will provide habitat for wildlife. The Central River Valley will be flanked by wetlands on either side. These wetlands were planted in 2022, and you can see some of the plants stirring back to life as the weather warms up. The River Valley will have over six kilometers of trails, including this levee trail that goes between the New River and one of the wetlands. Two pedestrian bridges here will connect the trails. 